Hi everyone, I'm Tammy, and in this video, I'm gonna to explain to you how I complete these concrete angel statues in this multi-tone color using just black and white. So, you'll see here I have my base coated piece. I did a little test run here just to speed up the video process. This is the next step, and this is getting towards the end. It's typically four to five steps. They take me on average four to five minutes to complete when I do them down the line. But for the purpose of this video, I'm only gonna do a couple of these here. I have here my base coat paint that I use to base coat this statue. I make sure it's completely dry. And then I add white to the base coat and I come up with this deeper gray color. So, I get the excess off, and I recommend just using cardboard. Get the excess off. Then just brush it over the piece lightly. Just let it collect on the detail. All the way around. And just make sure you go back and forth over the detail against it. You don't want it to settle completely in. And if you haven't watched the video on base coating yet and you're unfamiliar, I recommend that you do that. It's just important that you have a good base coat on. But you see, that's just real simple, super fast. And like I said, I typically just go down the line. So I'll have it all pre-mixed, this level color in a cup, and then I go down the line just to do this step here. So that basically brings me to this point. And you'll see that the base coat is down into the detail. And that's where I want this piece at this point. So now I'm at this stage. So now what I do is I take my chip brush, I add even more white, get the excess off. I'm using my pant leg because that's what I do but just get it off on your board here, it's fine. It's lighter. It's not white, it's just a real light gray. But when I put it on, it's gonna look a lot lighter. So at this point, I just lightly brush it on all the way around. And I'm hitting the high, uh, high points first, high points of the detail. You can see it looks white. It's really just a very light gray. I'm trying to make it so you can see it. But that's it. So this is where I want it. So now this piece, you see how much closer it is to looking like this here. So now, typically I would let this dry. This is what makes this video a little tricky because I'm trying to speed up the process. So at this point, I'll add just a little more white, get the excess off. and go over it once more, but just hitting the high points. Like so, do the same with this one. And this dries very fast. Base coats dry very fast. I typically let my base coat set on for a day and then I'll just come down into several of these at once. This is all I want to do. But you 
see how fast that goes. So that's close enough for what I want to do. So now, take a look at the faces on these. They're fine. You could set them off like that. I like to soften it up a little bit. So what I do now is I take my brush, I go back to my base coat, just add a little bit, a touch of it to your brush, get the excess off. So you're bringing it down in tone a little bit to more of the gray, and I just lightly brush it on. And that just softens, softens the features of the face. Go over the hands. Back a little bit. I can't see very well on the camera, but I'll check them out here a little bit. That should be close. Here, same thing. Add a little my base. Get the excess off. It's going to change the color just a touch. It's going to soften the look. And that's where I want it. So at this point, I will take a detail brush, go straight back into the white paint, get the excess off. And I'm leaving a little thicker on my brush. It's just a detail brush. This is like a, a half inch detail brush. And what I do here is I go over the hair just to pop it out a bit more. It's just what I choose to do. Just real lightly. Just better to start out with uh, less paint if you're not used to it to start. You just go around and I pop that detail a bit. Like that. Then I also go over the detail here on the design. Maybe run a little bit more over the sleeve and around the neck. Take a little bit there. And if you let each step dry, even if you touch up on it, you can just rub it out. And I can already see that I'm going to lighten the faces up a little bit more, but that should give you a pretty good idea on how to soften that look and how to pop detail out. So that should give you an idea, hopefully that helps. If you're into painting concrete statues and you're interested, uh, we do have a Painting Concrete Statues Facebook page, and we have a lot of talented people on there. So I highly recommend you check it out. Just go on the search bar for Painting Concrete Statues on Facebook and take a look. And that is it.